So PPI inhibitors, proton pump inhibitorials. <laughs> All right, so proton pump inhibitors are our last most effective, the most effective at bringing down the, um, the production of acids in the stomach. So PPI inhibitors, also known as protonics, is that is the um, the uh, generic name? I'm sorry, that's the uh, brand name for it. Anything ending in prazol is our PPI inhibitor. So, like our um, what is it? Pantoprazol. That is going to be your PPI inhibitor. Now, 99% of your patients, like almost all your patients, will be on a PPI inhibitor in the hospital. And when I was in first semester of nursing school, and I didn't know anything about pharmacology, and my instructor said, okay, look up your drugs, make sure you know them, because I'm going to be quizzing you when you give your medications to your patient. So, I looked at my drugs and I'm like, okay, I think I know PPI inhibitors. The mechanism of action is um, they act on the gastric parietal cells. These little cells in the uh, lining of the stomach that secrete that hydrochloric acid. And what it does is it inhibits that hydrogen and that, um, uh, that hydrogen from releasing and it stops the gastric production. And I'm like, yeah, I got it. And she's like, well, why is your patient receiving this? Well, I'm like, okay, it, uh, my patient's receiving this because, and I'm looking through the chart and the book said history of gastritis or any type of acid reflux or any type of peptic ulcer I couldn't find anything in the chart that said my patient had a history of a gastric ulcer or a, um, a peptic ulcer or even heartburn itself. And I'm scratching my head thinking, this guy's like a 25-year-old kid. He's just in here because um, he has a, a small bout of pancreatitis and he's NPO. We can't feed him anything. So, and nursing instructors love to do this, and it, mm, I just, it like, makes me so frustrated when um, they just, they ask you a question, and they just sit there, knowing the answer, knowing that you have no clue, um, so honestly, I just, I, I don't know, I don't know. So, she gave me the famous words of all nursing instructors, go look it up, right? So I ended up finding out from a nurse that, one of my uh, primary nurses, that almost all patients in the hospital get put on a, what's called a um, ulcer prophylactic. This is a preventative measure so we don't get ulcers. Because when a patient is NPO, nothing by mouth, or when a patient has um, been in bed for a long, long time and hasn't been eating adequately, or let's just say the patient's in a lot of pain, all these factors cause increased acid production in the GI itself. So this increased acid production, either from pain, from sitting on your butt too long, from not being mobile, it's gonna cause an increased acid production that acid production is going to eat away at the lining of your stomach and cause an ulcer with bleeding and a perfed stomach. No, no bueno, right? Nothing good. So, what we want to do is we want to block these acid productions. We want to inhibit. So, a proton pump inhibitor, we're inhibiting that acid secretion from the gastric parietal cells. We're saying, bring it down 
stop producing. So, this is the most effective, the longest lasting, and you guys can remember your prazol because it starts with a P, okay? Starts with a P, prazol, and it reminds you of your PPI inhibitor. Parazol with your PPI inhibitor. So, in review, you have your PPI inhibitors. Um, now, one last thing. With PPI inhibitors, make sure you do not give with food. It's just like um, your iron. Um, you want to make sure you don't give your iron with dairy products or food. Because just like iron, um, prazol or your PPI inhibitors will not work as well with food. So make sure to space it out at least an hour apart from meals or two hours. Good stuff, okay? So in review, PPI inhibitors, they work on the proton pump and stop those gastric secretions from the gastric parietal cells okay inside the GI tract they are the number one they work the best and you can give it IV push you can give it PO you just can't give it any other way just PO or IV push okay the other ones here you have your H2 blockers your tidine that turn down the volume and you guys can remember that because as we said before um, this is your football players, right? The blockers. And you always have to wash their jerseys and tide. And you're constantly telling them to turn the volume down. Turn the volume down. So they turn the volume down in the stomach, the volume of acid. And a generic, I'm sorry, a brand name for H2 blockers would be a Pepsid. And I think you guys have maybe heard of Pepsid um, in terms of commercials or Pepsid uh, in terms of uh, someone um, being on Pepsid for their heartburn. So that's what Pepsid does at least. Now your anti-acids, really the weakest out of the bunch. It works really quick, almost like your albuterol works very, very fast with the lungs, right? The inhaler, the rescue inhaler. And your corticosteroids for your at least your lungs, they work really slow, but they work great in the long term because they do so much preventative in terms of preventing flare-ups. Same thing for PPI inhibitors. Work great in the long term. They are the best in the long term. H2 blockers, they're okay. PPI inhibitors have superseded them. They, uh, they work on two different pathways, okay? Anti-acids, that rescue inhaler, we can say, for the stomach, okay? If you know what I mean. I don't want you to be getting emails saying, oh my gosh, anti-acids are an inhaler now, we can breathe them. No. <laughs> what rescue inhalers are to the lungs, anti-acids are to the stomach. Cool? All right.